Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode on the new save file and someone reminded me we have to delete it unlocked and I haven't played as him in a while. So let's do a deleted run. Uh, I can't, we, we managed to do a decent amount as him last time if I remember correctly. I don't know exactly how many completion marks we got but I remember we donated a load. I remember we donated quite a lot. So yeah, deleted of course is just hella fun so we're gonna give him a go. I will say I'm relatively tired today. I've, um, so, as you guys know from my previous ramblings, I've been ill <clears throat> the past few days. Come on now, game. What are you doing? There you go. We'll just play as Happy 99 for now. Just a casual, regular old deleted run. Um, but yeah, um, I've been ill the past few days, and I'm definitely not over it yet, but, um, I, I made a mistake yesterday. Um, and it's, it's a mistake that I'm well aware I made, and I made consciously, but I decided to go out with some friends last night, because they were good. We, we'd already planned it like a week ago, and obviously I didn't want to cancel the plans because I was feeling a bit under the weather. Like, if I was feeling really rough, I would have stayed home, but I was feeling good enough to go out. And so I did, and we went to this taco place that we've been before. And oh my god, it's, well, it, it's, it's mainly a tequila bar, but um, they also do t like... One pound tacos, like these little mini tacos, and oh my god, they are just awesome. They're so so good. So I had eight. Um, <laughs> um the, the they're all named after like different rappers and stuff. So there's like oh my god, that was so bad. There's like one called MF Doom. There's uh, Kendrick Lamar. Um, there's Biggie Smalls. There's loads of different ones like that. Um. And yeah, they're all, they've all got a lot of different stuff in them. The, 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 some of them are pretty normal, other ones are kind of wacky. Uh, but anyways, I had a few of those. But obviously, with it being a tequila bar, I had quite a few drinks. And then when we got home, I had a few more drinks. Because for some reason, when you get drunk to any capacity, your brain is, is not, not very good at telling you when to not have more. Um, and so I just... I just went slightly over the tipping point, and I've woken up today feeling pretty darn, <laughs> pretty darn hungover. Um, so I'm now, today, as I am recording this, it's, it's like, it's like almost three o'clock at the minute, so it's, it's a fair amount into the day, but goddamn, I'm hanging. Um, I'm feel I'm still feeling a little congested and a little ill, but I'm also feeling pretty hungover. So it is a real combination, and as I've as I've previously mentioned, no backlog right now. So I just, oh, dude, can you not roll your head directly into me, please? That was really rude. Um, yeah. So not not in the greatest. D dude, you respawned your head. It's not allowed. Um, Vegemite, get out of here. Every five rooms use Bacana. Every three rooms use Golden Razor. Um, do you know what? The Golden Razor thing is really not good because it basically means we can never have money. But the Bacano rune, every five rooms is fine. And the other thing, whenever we go into an angel deal, we get whatever that item was. It's also fine. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's, uh, let's continue on, shall we? Yeah, we're not going to be able to donate a hell of a lot this run, I wouldn't think. <sighs> I was really hoping I could hit the little dude with that bomb there. Do you know what? I'm gonna... Oh, bugger. I was gonna try and keep them attached and then bomb them again to, to kill this guy off, but I failed. I failed, he failed, he failed. Um, as for the question of the day to day, should we do something deleted themed? Hmm. What's, what's the, the strangest, like, software bug you've experienced? What's the strangest bug in a program? Not, not like glitch in a game, but like you're using Microsoft Word and it bugs out sort of bug. What's the sort of weirdest software bug you've, you've found? Um, spawns? Uh, that's pretty decent. I'll take that. Um, we got two luck upgrades. Okay, that was very worthwhile. But Penny, not so much. And we'll go down. Okay. Honestly, it's, it's a difficult thing for me because... See, I, um, in my actual job, I do a lot of bug testing, um, okay, that's, that's, that, that just took all my money away, I see, um, 
Yeah, I do, I do a lot of bug testing in my, in my day job. Um, so I get to see a lot of weird and wacky bugs all the time. I, I, it's hard to say which one's been the best. Oh, fuck me. Okay, the Bacano thing kind of went wacky there, but it was good. Um, and, oh, why did I take that? Such a bad idea. But, I don't know, I've got to say, like, one, one of them that I found really funny is, um, I was just, oh, wait. Golden Brazer works without money? Intriguing. Okay, so every few rooms we get a damage upgrade, regardless of whether we have we have the money to utilize it. I need that. Oh my god. If I had to grab that, otherwise I could have died. That would have been really bad. Um, Like, one time when I was testing, basically I was just testing string limits. So I was just basically seeing... Um, yeah, it's really cool that we get the damage up, regardless of whether we have enough money. Um, unless it's a different item, unless I'm completely getting the item wrong here. I'm, I might well be. Okay, the unfortunate thing here is the Bacano proc is quite laggy for some reason, so that's not great. Um, but yeah, um, I was testing string limits, which basically just means I was testing to see if there's a limit on... Do you know when, when something's like, oh, um, add, add your title here, 32 character maximum sort of thing. Basically just checking that those worked. And in... Probably a solid 75% of the cases they didn't work and so in my book report that I sent over to the developer Because uh, I there's only one developer for the time being uh, was we're a pretty small company um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a bit flip on this Ooh, Boss kill you get pride pin every 80 seconds 3% chance to use a lot of pauses Ooh, every 11 minutes 15% chance to spawn 20 random monsters that that is a recipe for potential disaster, but I will take it. Right, um, yeah, uh, what I did is I, I, there was a, a box where it's like, name your event, and there was a few others where I had like, name this, name that sort of thing, and to send him the bug report, I copied and pasted the entire lyrics to, um, never gonna give you up, <laughs> um, and just, it, like, it just filled the entire screen. I just found it so funny, because it just looked so terrible. Like, it, it stretched all the boxes and, like, kind of, like, overflowed out of the page. Because, obviously, the, str the, the, the string was never meant to be that long. Um, so it was, it was never meant to look that way. And, yeah, it was really funny just seeing <laughs> the entire screen filled with Rick Astley. Um, he found it really funny as well. Um, but that, that was more, like manifested than, than sort of one that I've come across naturally. I don't know what, like, the best thing that I've come across naturally is. It's, it's a difficult one. I do this, though. I, I'll ask a question of the day that I just have absolutely no idea what my answer for it would be. You you are a fast boy. Dude. Does this guy... Is this guy always this fast? Oh, my God. He's got skills. This guy might actually kill me. I don't have bombs, either. My lord. I th Honestly, I've got to say, the rework for this boss is just masterful. This boss went from being a, a pretty dull boss with nothing much interesting going on to being something really special. It's got some really unique attacks. It's got a completely unique second phase. Really, really cool. Um, ooh. Didn't mean to do that. Get that dice on 16 kills summon summon a spike what the hell is summon a spike i mean i kind of have to try that because i'm curious at what summon a spike means <laughs> um but there you go we'll move on down we'll move on down oh god okay i i we did get a pride pin though which should somewhat supplement our damage There you go, lovely. I don't think stacking pride pins is going to help, but we will be stacking some pride pins. Okay, we definitely need keys and bombs and all that sort of good stuff, because for right now I have none. I got hit and something happened there. Did I lose an item on getting hit there? Oh god, I'm so close to death right now. Oh, it, it literally summons a spike. Did you see that then? Did you see that? It quite literally summoned a spike. Just just watch when I when I killed that thing. Okay, the counter's doing its thing again. 
Um, can we just talk about the fact that I just turned poop into poop? <laughs> that was rather strange. I just turned some poop into some more poop. God, I'm so worried. This this run's scaring me. Okay, we got a key. Thank you. I would very much like a bomb, though. Holy shit. I didn't realize that enemy was explosive. Oh, God. This is the room where we die, isn't it? Okay. You did explode those for me. Oh, bl bloody bugger off. Honestly, these fart shots right now are doing me well. Stay the hell away. Turned you into something else. You've killed yourself. Lucky you. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I wasn't ready for this deleted run to be to be this way. Still find it so cute that the pride pin changes whenever the effect changes. I can't. Dog tooth is something that I'm just gonna take. I think it's pretty good. I could then re-roll it, but I'm not going to. Um, the dice thing. Reroll stuff while it's held above your head. Oh god, this could also be. A you see that? Look, it literally just. So <laughs> what the fuck? I'm like, oh, summon a spike. What does that mean? There you go. That's what it means. For some reason. For some reason, that's what it means. Who knows why? Because that is really, really bizarre. Oh god. Ah, I'm so scared. Don't eat anything else. How are you not dead yet? <laughs> this fucking spike. Oh god. Uh, I'm I'm prepared for a potential death here. Hopefully my Bacano babies will help me out. Ooh, okay, that could be good. Stop trying to eat my mini Isaac. He ate my mini Isaac. That is so rude. I grew him on my very own. Another good question that I just would be interested in. What other content creators are you guys watching at the minute? Uh, regardless of whether it's Isaac content or not. Because I like I feel like I've learned about I, I need this. I have to have placenta. Which is a sentence I didn't think I'd hear. Okay, we gained this active. Um, let's see what this does. Charge into the enemy, dealing damage and knockback. An enemy hitting an obstacle after being charged will take extra damage. Enemies killed will drop temporary hearts. I will take that. That sounds interesting. Um, Prism? We got a lot of pride pins there. Um, Prism is an interesting one. I think I'm going to take that too. And then we'll bit flip this. On hit, get a temporary this. Elevary 11 rooms, uh, yeah, we'll take that, that's fine. And then we can't, unfortunately, get you going. So, how does this work? Okay, we, we, like, do a little short dash. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, seems good, seems good. Oh, I got a glass of water by my side. Mainly due to the hungoverness of it all. I bashed you into the wall. Why aren't you taking more damage? Or maybe you are. Maybe there's no icon to tell me that you are. It's pretty cool. Oh my god. Hey, we got a bomb finally. <laughs> I suppose it's actually a good, a good like defensive option. If an enemy gets too close, like melee wise, I can just be like, boop, and boop, like boom them away a little bit. For some reason, I was gonna say beef them away then, but I don't really know why. <laughs> that was so aggressive. It was sick. I love that. Right. I'm intrigued by what we have right now. Oh, don't don't go flying up into the air. It's just rude, and you know it is. <laughs> and then up here we get that, which honestly isn't very good. We get a bunch of those. Each boss kill use this. Each room three percent chance to lose our huggies. Uh, yes. Each room 3% chance to lose that active isn't great. I'll be honest. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just take that as it is. Boo you. Boo you. I don't know if having all of these joyfuls or whatever they're called 
is useful. It's 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 always difficult with their uh, deleted play, play deleted modded. It makes it makes the deleted a lot more fun, I think, when you play it modded because it, it just it is just modded chaos. It really is just modded chaos, completely and utterly. Um, but um, it's it's always difficult to know what some items are meant to do, but also like which ones of them would stack. Oh god, I need to stop getting hit. Very much so. Thank you. Yeah, like, like, which modded items could potentially, like, stack? Turn those guys into something else. Temporary hearts is good. Oh god. I don't like the way these guys fire, and I don't like the fact that it bounces. <laughs> Bash them into walls. Good stuff. Very good. Shop is unfortunately always going to be useless. It's not like last run where we had like... I can't remember what it was we had. We had something that basically forced dimes to spawn constantly, didn't we? We just had a fuckload of money all the time. Another thing I want to ask as well, I'm asking all the questions this episode, but those of you that are, like, still really into watching Isaac for the Isaac content, is there anything that I could be doing differently? Anything that you guys would like to see that I'm not doing? Um, I I'd, I'd love to hear it. Obviously, the new save file is definitely an interesting thing, and I'm hoping people are still enjoying that, but if there's things that you want me to do every now and again to change things up, or if there's specific stuff you want me to unlock, or any of that, le let me know, and I'll, I'll try and I'll try and work it in sort of thing. Um, I'd, uh, I'd really like to hear from you guys that are really enjoying the Isaac-specific part of the content as to um, what sort of stuff would take your interest, to what sort of stuff would, like... Just this is this is a question that's always difficult to answer because it's it's not even really worth asking, but I'm gonna ask it anyways. Um, basically, I was, what I was gonna say is, what sort of what is it in a thumbnail that makes you click on it? But the problem with asking that question is, it's all well and fine asking that, but those of you that are here viewing it aren't the people that I need to know the answer from. Uh, it's the people that aren't watching are the people that I need to know the answer from. <laughs> The people, you guys that are here, are probably not, it probably doesn't matter so much what's in the thumbnail. So some some people it does, some people it doesn't, it depends. Um, some people think, oh, this is an interesting run, I'll click on that thumbnail sort of thing. If it, if it looks like an interesting run on the thumbnail, you, you know what I'm saying. Um, whereas other people it's just like, oh, I don't care, it's uh, Isaac is Isaac. Um, but, um... It's kind of one of those questions that's hard to really get a proper answer to, because it's like, oh, what can I be doing in my thumbnails to make people more likely to click on them? But at the same time, I need to be asking the people that have stopped watching, not the people that are currently watching, to get an answer that would actually make a big impact. Although, the answer from you guys that are watching is still useful. Not, uh, it's not to say that it isn't, it's just not as impactful, obviously. Um, we are oh my god, I launched him. This is a creepy-ass room. We got these little suckers. Oh my, how did I not get hit there? Wow. That was surprising. So far, this run is not going great, I've got to say. We, we are a severe lack of health. And thus far, we don't have anything, um, anything from the deleted items that is really, like, wacky. We, we have some good stuff, but nothing that's selling it yet. We need something that's going to sell us this story. And we also need more HP. Don't, don't speed up. Fuck that. You're already fast enough. Oh, Yumheart. Honestly, I think Yumheart's a really good grab for us right now. I'm going to take Yumheart. And I'm going to um, bit flip this. On bomb, get a temporary that. After eight hits. After eight hits... Okay, uh, I got the China heart thing. Does, so, every time I take 8 hits, I gain 0 0.1 tier. So after I hit an enemy 8 times, I'm guessing it's when I take damage. Because otherwise that would be crazy. There you go. Literally the only thing that's, that's holding us together right now is Pride Pin. Pride Pin's giving us what we need. And the occasional Bacana as well. That's, that's pretty helpful. 
But yeah, I always want to try and make it. Like, I've, I was saying in like a previous episode about how Isaac is unfortunately just dying on YouTube at the minute. Not dying, dying, but it is, uh, it is definitely getting lower viewership than it usually would. I think it's partially just due to it being the start of the year in January. I think you tend to just get less views around that time of the year. So we'll, we'll see if it picks up sort of in the later months anyways. But like I said, I, I still love Isaac. I'm going to keep playing on the channel as long as I love it and as long as some of you are watching. And some of you are. But I always want to hear what people that are watching would like to see more. Um, there's, there's, there's tons of different things we could be doing. I mean, I'm, I'm never opposed to just doing what we're doing now and just playing a daily run, doing it as it goes sort of thing. Um, but... I am always open to uh, to do what the people want more often because, you. I mean, the content is for you guys. I mean, I obviously want to enjoy making it, but there isn't much, there isn't much in Isaac that people can, uh, that people could suggest to me that I wouldn't enjoy. I'll say, the, the only things that I see on YouTube fairly often that I've been asked to do that I just won't do or just know I won't enjoy is the every item is blank challenges. I think they are so fucking boring. Like, like some of them can be kind of an interesting actual challenge where it makes the game more difficult, but 95% of them just make the game really, really easy, or it's just, like, really dull. Um, but, yeah, th those are, like, pretty much the only things that I'm adverse to. Everything else, I'm always down to, to give, give it a try, try what people uh, want. And I do realise, I, I apologise to those of you out there that, that don't really care about sort of the the meta of YouTube, so to say. Um, we haven't been to our item room yet. It's probably over this way, let's go over there. Um, I, I appreciate there's probably a good few of you that don't really care about the meta of YouTube, and I do talk about it an awful lot, so I, I apologise to those of you. And um, by that, I just mean when I'm talking about, like, what I should be doing with the channel, or what I should be talking about in my videos, or whatnot. People just want to hear me talk about random shit, or talk about Isaac. Uh, they're not here for, to hear me complain about YouTube, I realise that. Um, but it's, it's just, it's, it's always an interest, it's, it's always a thing um, when you're a creator, it's, it's, it's kind of on your mind. It's very, very easy to get into the mindset of, I have spoken about this tons before, but it's very, very easy to get into the mindset of, like, what what you're doing on YouTube is wrong, or like you've made a mistake, or something something you've done has changed how how many views you're getting, sort of thing. Um, it's it's very hard to get out of that mindset. So I've I've always got to try and remind myself that there is people here watching and they're enjoying, and some of them are here for the Isaac content or the game. Some of them are here for just the commentary. Some of them watch the full videos. Some of them don't. It doesn't matter as long as people are enjoying the content. I don't give a damn, and I shouldn't give a damn. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh, hello. That's a... It's an awful lot of gigabombs. <laughs> an awful lot of gigabombs. And I got hit by a lot of the rocks that they spawned. Quite a lot of the rocks that they spawned hit me. Oh well. This, oh, this is an Excel floor. Okay, cool. I was I, I, when I came back this way, I was thinking like, wait a minute, <clears throat> one minute. Sorry, I had to pause that. I thought I had a nosebleed for a second. Turns out I'm just still ill and my nose was running. <laughs> I, like for some reason, it felt it felt like a nosebleed. I don't, I, don't, I don't know specifically why. Yes, I just hit the tiny baby. This makes life so much easier. So much easier. What tier effect do I have on right now? Okay. Power shot. I like it. I like the B shot too. I've been getting hit just a redonkulous amount. And it just doesn't matter. Oh, dead eye. I have to just take dead eye. It's too good not to. But I've been getting hit like loads. And it's just not been an issue at all somehow. I mean, it definitely helps that we've now got um, Yum Heart to keep us going. I'm, I'm actually like super, super happy that I took Yum Heart. Um, yeah, I also just love that, like, I've been talking about how I keep getting pride pin, it just keeps, like, appearing on all of my runs, which I'm not going to complain about, it's a very good item, um, but, uh, I keep getting pride pin, and, um, and then this episode, I literally just get, like, a hundred different pride pins, it's like, the, the item won't leave me alone, but, 
I don't want it to. It's a cutie. Its effect is good. Its theming is good. It's all good. <laughs> this is that. This is actually the boss way. I didn't think this would be the boss way, but apparently I was wrong. Oh, I see you there, little ghosty boy. Right, there's one more item room somewhere in this maze. <laughs> I do not know where. It's not here. I do kind of want to bomb out of this room. Right. I, it most likely won't be in this room here, because, like, it could only be up from here. But I will check it just in case. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It might be up from here, then. I was thinking, nah, no way, but... You never know. <laughs> Me taking too much damage again. Ooh, that the, the shots from the water bucket thing then went through my prism. I like that. Okay, it wasn't this way. I was incorrect. I was incorrect. More luck pennies. Hell yes. Gotta love it. Right. Unfortunately, the way in which I decided to bail at... Because I thought this path down here was the boss. Unfortunately, that was the item room. I would have been better just carrying on. Do, do you guys do that in Isaacs every now and again? Where you're like... Especially in the womb. Where you start going what looks to be the wrong way. And so you're like, ah ha I caught you out, game. I'm not falling for this. I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna go and change my direction. And you do it. And then... Oh. That's also a good item. Also, that's so many pride pins. Um, that is a good item. We don't really have anything that works. Uh, we do have. We do have uh, the thingy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take it as it is because it's. It's just fun and it. It works with this as well. Whoa. It's just a good item. It, it. It scales really well with your damage. It's for some reason quality one, but. I couldn't fathom as to why, because it's fantastic. I'm also going to shortcut through here, because I don't care for walking all the way back around. Oh, I always forget the bloody laser can move your effing bombs. <laughs> it makes this item such a pain in the ass. It's fine, though. It's fine. Remember, I don't need money, because it'll get taken away from me in, like, three rooms anyways. Right. I don't even need to fire. I just use my laser to sit it down on him. And it does good stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Easy. Another pride pin for the collection. Each kill, 1% chance to use a ton of scissors. On Blackheart, um, get two... Uh, each boss killed, spawn nine times Morningstar... I don't know what that is. I'm I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know what the nine times morning star is. It scares me though. Okay, good, good, good. Grab that. Right, any of these are either of these are crazy. Um, on hit spawn four bombs, on hit spawn two times shop item. Yeah, I can't, that doesn't do anything for us. Um, yeah, that, unfortunately these are just dookie. We need some better stuff. This has been a very, like, mediocre deleted run in terms of the deleted things we've gotten. I'm taking a sip of my water, forgetting that there's enemies in this room now. Whoops. Beautiful. I still find that, like, killing an enemy spawns a spike thing really funny. It's just, it's just so stupid. How did we get up to 16 damage? When the hell did we get up to 16 damage? We have gained a lot of damage somehow. Is it all the pride pins, maybe? Now I'm losing damage. Oh my god, so many pride pins. Holy shit. 
Yeah, uh, my damage is changing very rapidly. I realized that Dead Eye is obviously um, influencing my damage. I realized that. Um, but that's not really what I meant. Right. Uh, we've not had a book yet, so I don't care about bookworm here. Um, tears every six ro- Ooh, fuck me. Okay, that is very, very good. Um, each room use whatever this is and get- Oh my god. Each boss kill. Okay. Okay. We got a lot of stuff there. All of it, I think, was good. Some sockies. Um, I'll take that too. Jesus juice. Put some hearts there. Nice. We'll grab that. Why not kill you? More Psy Horfs. Um. Yes. Why not? I lost my Yum Heart, but I think at this point that doesn't matter too much. Okay. Throw all what, what I said out the window, because things have gotten crazy. Oh, that's a lot of golden batteries. We have no, no real use for them, but that is a lot of golden batteries. Speed. Ow. When do I get my champion belts? I, I, I saw there was speak of- there they are. There's my champion belts. <laughs> I was like, I saw there was speak of champion belts. Ask and you shall receive. Because here they are. In all of their glory. Yeah, this, this, whoa, did you see how I just accidentally, like, what, look at this. I was like, oh, I, I kind of crapped myself because I thought I accidentally walked into a golden battery. Look at that. Straight through the middle of them all. Completely accidentally. Pretty funny. What are all these temporary hearts that are dropping? I should try and pick them up at some point. Right. Give me more champion belts. It was every so many rooms, but I can't remember how many now. This many. No, 5.8 damage. Oh, lord, this room is horrendous. Oh, god, bugger. Okay. It's not even the way I need to go. Ah, oh, don't you feel so cheated? When you put, like, effort into a room, or you get hit in a room, and it wasn't even the right way. It's like, if I, if it was, if I got hit in a room, and it was towards the common goal of getting to the boss, it's like, that's all, that's, that's fair enough. That is what it is, that happens. But when you get hit, and it's the wrong direction, it's just kind of like, hey now. Hey now. But yeah, I think we're going to have quite a lot of damage this run. Okay, these hearts, whatever they are, these grey ones. Got it through the door. God damn, that was close. Seemed very, very good. It's the lead of run schmacks. We on wound two, we are nice. The counter caused issues. Lovely. Definitely going for a delirium run if we can manage it. Look at all these hearts we've managed to gain. We have all the keys as well. I think we we had either eleven or one. I'm pretty sure I had eleven. Yes, eleven. It's good. Kind of forgot about all these goobers. 
Just damage? Yes, please. Filigree Feather, that would have been good a while back. I think we want this. This is a good item. I'll take this. Cancer's pretty awesome. I think we're gonna take Cancer. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Can't get anything in there. Right. Let's let's get gone. Is that any good? Lust? No, thank you. Right. It's time for Hushy to die. Doing quite a lot of damage to him. I think this is gonna go well. Oh, uh, the Psyhorfs all spawned. Okay, we're gonna get rid of most of them. Bloody Horfs. Don't be horfing around on me. I mean, 51 damage. We've barely, we've barely really tried and he's already like a quarter dead, so... Where did I get Holy Water from? Where did I get this Angel Baby from? Who are you people? <laughs> Holy sugar tits! What on earth is going on there? <laughs> oh my goodness, why does he always go underground when this happens? Always with the going underground, mister. It's a travesty. I can't do anything right now. Hop up, you lazy cunt. It's just fucking rude. Right, anyways, that, is, uh, that has been quite something. Let's go down to the void. Right. I don't think we're going to have all that hard of a time killing Delirium. I honestly think that finding Delirium is going to be far more of a challenge. Book her off and just let me leave. Again, I went the wrong way. Don't let me stay here for longer than I have to. Good. Oh, dude. All wrong ways so far. I really like the fact that there's unique rocks for certain void rooms. Cool. Oh, wait. I can't even walk into the batteries. Because I have no active. Fair. How do I kill you guys exactly? I'm guessing you have to damage each other with bombs. This is weird. I don't want to be here. I can't bomb out. Oh, this is annoying. Just just bomb yourself, please. There you go. Well, those enemies aren't that hard. My small, small brain cannot handle. But the carnos are getting a little annoying. Hello again, fellas. Was there any need? If I had safety scissors, now that'd be... I'd be a real wild trip, but sadly... I do not have that. God damn. How have I gone so many wrong ways on the delirium floor? This is so strange. Oh god, all of these are trap doors. Like, it's normally there's nowhere near this many dead ends early on. Somehow, I found him. Somehow, I found him. And we're going to be getting a lot of pride pins during all of this, I think. I think pride pins are going to be the mainstay. I want to try something real quick. Yeah, okay. These hearts, these little grey ones, you can kind of cheat them. 
because they fade away over time. But if you leave the room before they finish fading away, when you re-enter, they're still there. They, they don't fade away. So, like, let's, let's, um... Oh, I didn't work that time. I was gonna say, let's try and show it off. Right, get near a door. One of those, you see, it spawned in the bottom left-hand corner there. In the bottom left-hand corner. And there, there you go, it's still there. So you can cheese them real easily. Um... Well, I I would say I like your room design, but it didn't work at all. <laughs> so it's good job there's another way around, because otherwise we'd be screwed there. Right, how have we not found a boss yet? Look at how many rooms we've gone through. How have we not found a boss yet? Still no boss. It's just kind of creepy now. Did we enter like a, a broken delirium floor? Oh no, there, there we go. We finally got some bosses. We get dead onion, um, which just gives us a bunch of shot speed. Great, thank you. It's Blue Baby. Oh my lord. The light. I've seen the light. Why not? <sighs> okay, we finally found two bosses. A whole two. Can we find more? This has been a really fun run. It's peaked me up. Peaked me up? It's not really a, a way, the way to say that. It's perked me up. Oh my lord. If any of you out there epileptic, I am sorry. But honestly, not gonna lie, it's kind of on you. Isaac is not the game to be watching slash playing if you're epileptic at all. <laughs> this game, especially modded. Nah, 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 nah. I'm sorry, but it's not the game for you. There's a lot of bright flashing lights going on right now. That I have very little control over. Right, you hear then. Weird that none of those Muller booms ended up actually being able to blow up. There must be like a little hallway where there's just a fuckload of bosses somewhere. Chomp, chomp, boys. More Psyhoffs. My fucking tears are too big. Monstro 2. Followed by all the Psyhoffs again. On active use, get... Uh, whatever. Easy enough to handle. Delirium? No. The cage. Bootlicker. Um. Why not? Tainted Ash. Tainted Ash. Do, 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 do. We've been unlucky with our, de with our delirium floor here. Even if this is delirium, this is taking too long. Why have my tears gotten to such ridiculous size? It's not even delirium. Fuck's sake. Electric dice. It's got a resprite. Nice. Um, on kill, 3% chance to use that. That's not that good. I don't think I'm going to take the on hit chance to spawn. 91% chance to spawn 11 super troll bombs. That sounds like not fun for me. Yeah, my tears have just reached such ridiculous sizes for the most part. It just doesn't even make sense. Like, my normal tears are such an, a, like, a normal size. But whenever I fire one of these little square tears, it just, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy shit. Remove. 
remove that. God damn. Right, this has to be the right way. I refuse to believe otherwise. Can't see. It is the right way, good. Right, my good boy. My good sir. Dude. We have... For one, he's staying in this phase for an alarmingly long amount of time. But also... Okay, the entire fight. He, d he never changed. Wow, he never gained any boss armor. But also, the amount of damage we just did to him was obscene. Either way, that was a fun deleted run. It, it kind of started off pretty vanilla, pretty normal, but... We got there in the end, and I hope you guys did enjoy. Either way, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.